Excuse me, Mr. Hopkins. I have a question about the restructuring. Please come in. What's your question? Well, I'm now in the quality assurance section. Yes, you have a great understanding of hardware. Thanks, but I have more experience with information security. I see. You want to transfer then? Exactly. I feel that I'm more valuable there. Let me think about it. Here's your new office. John works in here too. So, everyone has their own desktop computers. Do we have laptops? Yes, that's your computer there. Laptops are in the IT department. Okay, but I also need a workstation. Right, you work on some powerful programs. Those are next door. Do I sign up to use them? I mean, how do I get access to one? Just log on to the server. All computers connect to it. Then click Reserve Workstation. Thanks. Technology support. Ivan speaking. How can I help? I have an old hard drive, and I need help taking it out. Okay. Unplug the connection to the power supply first. Then disconnect the motherboard cable. Which one is the power supply? It's the smaller black box in the corner. I'm unplugging both. What's next? Next, take out those two small screws. They fasten the hard drive to the case. I see, and then it slides out. Thanks. Computers International, can I help you? Yes, my firm's computer system needs an upgrade. What type of business is it? A restaurant. Here's the problem: customers' orders take too long to enter. Then I suggest our new touch screens. You just move data on the screen with your fingertip. That sounds good. I want to create menus too. Do you have peripherals for that? Well, I recommend the new printer. The new ones print as well as a professional service. Great. Let's talk about prices. Hi. Can I help you find something? Oh, please. I need a router. Well, there are a few types. What kind of network do you have? I don't have one yet, but it's for the computers in my home. Do you want a LAN or a WLAN? Some routers don't support both types. What's the difference? A WLAN connects computers wirelessly. A LAN connects computers with Cat5 cables. My computers are far apart. I'd need a WLAN. Hello, CCC Solutions. What do you need help with today? Well, it's my desktop icons. I had a shortcut one day, and it's gone the next. Oh, no problem. Just save them to the desktop. Okay. How do I do that? First, add the shortcuts. Then move the pointer to the Options menu and click Save Icons and Folders. Options? I'm sorry. Where is that? See the CCC icon in the corner. Right-click that. Got it. Thanks. Technical support. Can I help you? Yes, I have a word processing problem. Okay. What seems to be wrong? I have a file from a client, but it won't open. What kind of file is it, and what program are you using? It's in .tpw format. I use Typing Suite. Oh, that's a typewrite file. It isn't compatible with Typing Suite. Oh no, I need that information. Have the client send it as a .txt file. That opens in most programs. Great, thanks. Thanks for calling QuickTel. How may I help you? Well, I'm a new customer, and my email address isn't receiving mail. Okay. Do you have the correct username and password? Yes, those work fine. Okay. Do you have a webmail account or an email client? There are some common mistakes with those. An email client. Does that matter? New customers often make mistakes with the POP3 settings. The correct server is pop.quicktel.net. Oh, that's it. I have pop.quicktel.com. Thanks. Hi, Susan. Did you receive the staff email? Yes, and I have a question, Bob. Okay, no problem. What is it? I don't even know what meta tags are. Why are they important? They're descriptive words on the new website. 
They make the site rank higher in search engines. You mean our site appears at the top of the search results? Exactly. Customers click on a hyperlink first. That's good news for our sales department. Thanks for calling Picture Perfect Support Centre. How can I help you? I want to put a picture on my website, but it's too dark. Is there a way to fix poor exposure? Do you have a graphic editing program? Yes, but I never use it. I just don't know how. No problem. Open the file with the program and find the contrast controls. Is that in the edit menu? It is. Increase the contrast to lighten the picture. Great. Thanks. Rachel, I need help. I don't understand this spreadsheet program. Sure. What are you trying to do? I need to calculate our estimated profits for next month, but I don't know how to do that. Well, is all the data in the cells correct? Yes, I'm sure it is. Okay, then just type this formula into the top cell. Really? That's all? Yes. The formula calculates the estimated profits and shows them at the bottom of the spreadsheet. So that's how we change the website style. Does anyone have any questions? Yes, I have one. It's about CSS. Oh, the cascading style sheets. What do you want to know? Why do we separate the style sheet and the content? It makes changing the web page easier. The appearance changes, but the content doesn't. So I change the style sheet. What happens to the content? Nothing, because the two are separate. Okay, I understand now. The words stay the same. But their appearance changes. Good morning. Please take a seat. Hello. It's nice meeting you. Right. I see you have a degree in graphic communications. Do you have experience creating layouts? Yes. I work with desktop publishing software every day. What type of work do you do? I want to hear more. I combine text with graphics to create electronic pages. Interesting. Do you ever work with electronic paper? Fairly often, actually. I think it's the future of publishing. Clearwater Technologies, how can I help you? I want to purchase a dedicated system for video conferencing. What are my options? Well, we have systems with one or two TV monitors. What's the difference? The system with two TV monitors lets you hold multi-point video conferences. I need two TV monitors then. Does it come with a video bridge? No, you order that separately. Okay, then I need to order one video bridge as well, please. Hi, Mark. This is Amanda from TFC Gaming. Hi, Amanda. Glad to hear from you. Well, we're definitely interested in being an affiliate, but we have some questions. Of course. What do you want to know? About the percentages. What do we earn for just an increase in page views? That's 0.5 percent per hundred. I see. And for sales from our traffic? All BargainEquipment.com affiliates get two percent of the total profit. Good morning. How can I help you? Hi. I installed ClearPick and I'm trying to run it, but the program keeps freezing. How much memory is available on your computer? It has 256 megabytes of RAM. Well, there's your problem. To run ClearPick, you really want to have at least 500 megabytes of memory. So, how can I fix that? One easy way is to increase your computer's virtual memory. What will that do? It increases the paging file size. That way, your computer's hard drive can store more data. I see. So how exactly do I increase the memory? Just click on the My Computer icon. Under Properties, increase the maximum memory amount by at least half. Okay, thanks for your help. Sarah, could I see you in my office, please? Sure. I got your email, but I don't think we can afford more programmers. Well, without someone who knows Assembler. We can't efficiently translate between programs. I know, but I think the best way to address that problem is to have you trained in it. I'm up for that, but I'm worried that I'll get behind on the C++ programs I'm writing.
We can shift some of your workload to other programmers then. OK. What do you think about our CPU needs? How pressing would you say those needs are? If we had some updated CPUs, we could finish our projects in a fraction of the time. All right. Let me take a look at the budget and see what I can do. Thanks, Mr. Daniels. I appreciate it. Welcome to WebServe. This is Yvonne. How may I help you? Hi. I used to be a MindEye customer. I noticed that my bill increased after the switch to WebServe. What service do you have? Just broadband internet. Oh, that's it then. We're in the process of installing new T3 lines. But how does that affect my billing? T3 lines are expensive, so we've increased rates. But it allows for greater bandwidth. I'm not sure that justifies the price hike. Well, it also supports other WebSurf benefits. Live tech support, for instance. Well, I guess I've used that a few times already. You also get free antivirus software, and you can log into any of our hotspots at no additional charge. Oh, really? That might be worth a higher bill. Harold, could I see you for a few minutes? Sure, Mrs Smith. What's going on? A few of the requests you sent in have been approved. That's great. So what did we get? Management didn't like hearing about the data loss, so we're getting the array. Yes, that was pretty bad. What about some of the smaller devices? They weren't approved. It just seemed too expensive. Too bad. But I guess you've got to save money somehow. How about the main data backup? We're interested in the savings you mentioned. Could you come up with a more detailed proposal? Absolutely. When would you like that? As soon as possible. Sounds good. I'll have something for you tomorrow. You look like you need some help. Yeah, I'm an amateur photographer and I need better equipment. May I recommend the SuperShot 350? It has 15 times optical zoom and 2 times digital zoom. That's pretty much what I have now. I'm looking for something a bit more professional. OK. How about the Snap Pro series? This one has 30 times optical zoom and 5 times digital. How many megapixels does it have? 15, which gives you incredible detail. That sounds great. Now, I'd also like to start printing my own pictures. Well, we have some great deals on inkjet and laser printers. I'm leaning towards a laser printer. Inkjets just can't print as well. OK. The Printbeam EX is a two-in-one laser printer and scanner. It prints at 2,400 DPI. That's perfect. Thanks so much. Georgia Electronics Customer Service. This is Kim. How can I help you? Well, I've got a problem with my MP3 player. Yes, we're experiencing a recall on some models. Which model do you have? I have the X.2. All right. Tell me about the problem you're having. At first, the sound quality started getting worse. Then it completely froze on me. I thought restarting it would fix it, but nothing works. OK, that's a problem caused by AAC files. Luckily, we have a driver to fix that. Oh, good. How do I get it? Just download it from our website and upload it to your player. OK. It uploads like other files? Yes, just connect through the dock. The driver takes up less than a gigabyte, so you won't lose much storage space. Hey, Amy. I think I know how to solve your tracking problem. Really? How? It's a new app. It helps me keep track of clients and their purchases. How does it do that? Well. It lets me keep a list of all my clients in an address book. How's that different from the address book on my phone? This one lets me view any client's purchase history. That's helpful. How does it work? I just tap the name on the touch screen and it says that our client, Mr Smith, purchased 50 boxes of paper yesterday. Wow, that's neat. Yeah, and with my access to a 3G network, I can track a shipment while speaking with a customer. Well, I'll definitely download that app soon. Hi, Robert. I just got done talking with Clark Andrews via instant messaging. Did you explain the problem scanning the EPCs? Yes. He said it was OK to just send products with UPCs. That's a relief. He's an important client. 
I said we'd update him with text messages as things progress. Well, I need to talk to people who handle our EPCs. Can you make sure his order gets taken care of? Sure. I'll tell shipping to scan it this morning. Text him when it's scanned and again when it ships. Will do. I have one more question. What do you need? Emails with attachments keep going to my spam folder. How do we fix that? Give IT a call. I had that problem too. Hey, Angela. How's the Centro computer campaign coming along? Great. We're focusing on advertising on a social networking site. What have you done? Well, we created a profile and handle related to the Centro. What's in the profile? There's a brief description of the computer and its features, and we'll be putting up regular posts on a news feed. What are the posts for? They update customers on the latest Centro news. For instance, this post informs customers of new software that's available for the computer. Great. Anything else? We've got a forum for people to discuss the Centro. What's the feedback from customers been like? There have been several complaints about the price, but overall the responses are very positive. This is Map Sources. How may I help you? I'm looking into buying some GPS devices for my company. I can help you with that. What product were you considering? Well, your ad talks about the Map Sources Pro series. Yes, those are our most powerful products. What kind of company is it? It's a cab service. I want to equip my drivers with the best navigation system. The Pro series is actually meant for civilian airplanes and more high-risk situations. It's probably more than you need. What product would you recommend then? The Map Sources Traveler Elite is our most accurate consumer GPS. My drivers have to remember a lot of locations. Does it record positions? It does. You can save up to 500 waypoints. Okay, I'll check that out. Thanks for your help. Exercises six and seven, page twenty-five. Safe Bank, Sally speaking. How may I help you? Hi, I was just online looking at my account and saw a withdrawal I didn't make. Let's check that out. What's your account number? It's one two six seven five. Okay, here it is. Which withdrawal are we looking at? The one at the ATM in Florida on the first of February. I've never been there. I see. I'll put a temporary hold on your account. That way, no one can use your funds. But I need it. My bill pay. I've got a few payments scheduled. No problem, sir. I'll process those before placing the hold. What about that withdrawal? Our fraud prevention department can investigate and issue a refund. Should I transfer you? I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Exercises six and seven, page twenty-seven. Think Tank customer service. How can I help you today? Hi, I'm a librarian at Brighton State College. We have a problem with our subscription. What's the issue? Well, it's odd. Library staff can't access anything on university computers, but students can. Are the students using their own computers? Yes, they have laptops. It works fine when students use remote access. Have you installed anything new on the computers? Actually, yes. We just got new pop-up blockers. Ah, that makes sense. The pop-up blockers are preventing the VPN from creating a connection in a new window. How do I fix the problem? Just turn off the pop-up blocker, and everything should be fine. Okay. Thanks so much for your help. So, Lisa, what's wrong with your serial robot? Its actuators aren't responding. Do you have any advice? Well, in my experience, the enabling device is often the problem. I checked that. The enabling device turns on properly, but the actuators don't respond when you move the pendant. Okay, and all your mathematical calculations are correct. They are. I checked the dynamic model twice. How about your equality constraints? What's the value of those? I set them to seven. Are there seven joints on the robot? No, there are six. Why? I believe you need to set the value equal to the number of joints on the robot. I can't believe I made such a simple mistake. Thanks for your help.
Wordwise Publishing. How can I help you? I have some questions about your e-reader. Okay, I can certainly answer those. What would you like to know? Well, first, my eyes aren't so good. Is the print very small? Actually, you can zoom in to make the text any size you want. Also, our new readers have active matrix display. I'm sorry. What's an active matrix display? It's the screen. It just means that the picture is very clear. Okay, that takes care of my first question. Now, do you have children's books available too? Absolutely. The complete list of available publications is on our website. Great. Are they illustrated? Actually, they are. We've added bitmapped graphics to recent uploads. Oh, my kids will appreciate that. Thanks so much. Jane, did you get a chance to read this month's programmer? Yes, I saw your article on AI. So, cognitive scientists are getting into programming. Yes, and I think it'll help. Most programming is too rigid. Because of algorithms, I didn't get that part. Basically, an algorithm needs a perfect answer. What do you mean by needs a perfect answer? They have a limited number of solutions. If one of those solutions isn't right, the algorithm doesn't work like a math problem. But a heuristic is different. Exactly. It can have lots of solutions. It looks for a good answer, not the perfect one. Okay. So heuristics would use case-based reasoning. Right. A computer could see what has worked in the past and then try something similar. Sounds intelligent to me. Good morning, John. Did you hear the good news? Morning. No, I haven't heard anything. What's up? Mr. Jackson has decided to update our computers. We're switching to PCs. Really? PCs? I'm glad we're updating, but I'd rather get another Mac. You would. Not me. You can't customize a Mac. Sure, you can customize PCs, but Macs do something so much better. What do you mean? The color matching and typography are more sophisticated on a Mac than on a PC. We need that in publishing. Okay, I'll give you that. But Macs have slower processing speeds, don't they? Maybe a little, but that's mostly with video, and we barely use it. So the processing speed doesn't really affect us. I still think we're better off buying PCs, though. At this point, I can't really see why. We have more third-party software options. We don't really like the program we use on Macs. That's true. I hear good things about some of the PC publishing programs. Plus, PCs are cheaper. There's no point in paying more for a computer when we don't even like the software. True. I guess this can be an improvement. Hi, Brandon. I want to talk about that Linux idea. Hi, Shirley.、Uh, what can I tell you about it? Well, you said it was open source. What does that mean? Open source means that people can publicly work on a program to improve it. Anyone can work on it. Doesn't that increase the chance of viruses? Surprisingly, not actually. Open source vendors pay a lot of attention to security. I assume we'd still have to buy antivirus software that works with Linux. That's the thing. Even the security software is free. I see. Still, I'm not comfortable losing Microsoft Office. We don't have to. Open Office is actually compatible with Office and other programs. My other concern is printer trouble. I don't want to install Linux and have our equipment suddenly stop working. That's why we'll get that Samba program. The print server will act as if nothing changed. That sounds too easy. Surely there's something else to it. Actually, I'll have to reconfigure the TCP/IP protocols, but that's a small task. Okay, I'm definitely interested, but I need to think it over before I approve it. Thanks. Any time. Davidson Web Design. This is Casey. Hi. This is Don Dartmouth. I was calling to see how the website was coming along. Oh, hello, Don. For the most part, things are going really well. That's great. So, are you close to finishing then? Yes, we are. Everything is done except for the multimedia section. I see. And how is that coming along? Actually, we're having a little trouble with it. Why is that? Well, the media player you requested won't work on all computers. 
I'd suggest using Flash Player instead. I just don't think Flash Player has a high enough quality. I want my potential clients to be able to see everything clearly. I understand, but using Flash Player will allow everyone to view the media you've given us. I'll think about it. But everything else is finished. Yes. Actually, the rest of the site could go online today. No, we don't need to do that. Actually, I was hoping to add one more file to the CBT section. Oh, that's no problem. We can update the pages whenever you need. Good to know. I'll send that file over now. Donovan Online Advertising. How may I help you? Hello. I have some questions about the contract I received from your company. All right. What would you like to discuss? The pricing. How exactly does that work? Well, the first option is CPM, meaning you pay a certain rate for every one thousand people who view the banner. And that's the most cost-effective option. Yes, that's correct. I see. So, how do you determine what the rate is going to be? There are actually two things that affect that. The location of the banner is one of them. Okay. Could you explain that? Sure. Banners that are above the fold are more expensive. That's just because people don't have to scroll down to see them. I see. The contract also mentions something about commissions. Yes. Websites usually charge us a commission to host the advertisements. And the cost of those commissions gets passed on to your clients. That's correct. So the final price depends on how much the commission is. Got it. Thanks for your help. Jim, hi, I'm Kathy, and I'll be training you today. Hi, Kathy. Good to meet you. Let's jump right in. Take a look at that conveyor belt moving the soda bottles forward. Notice anything? Yeah, it looks a little jerky. Let's take a look at the oscilloscope pattern. Yep, something is definitely wrong. Very good. Any ideas on how to fix it? How about checking the Ethernet network? Maybe the computer can't communicate. Good idea. Let's check it out. Does this computer log look normal to you? Well, the Ethernet connection is fine, but something is off. Are you familiar with priority inversion? That sounds familiar. It happens when an important computer task is delayed. Oh, I remember. The computer gets hung up trying to access other information. Exactly. Let's check for that. Yep. There's the priority inversion. The computer's trying to get at data that isn't even available. Nice work, Jim. I'll call the software IT guys to fix the glitch. Erica, thanks for coming in. Oh, thank you, Mr. Tobin. I'm glad you're considering my proposal. Well, I can understand the employee's interest in telecommuting. However, I have some questions. I would expect so. Is there anything in particular? Let's start with production. I need a way to check that people are getting work done at home. Absolutely, the base camp program would take care of that. Really? I checked out the tour, but I didn't see anything about monitoring production. It's on the dashboard. It shows all the files being worked on and who's working on them. Okay, good to know. Now, what about communication? Well, there's the message board. Sure, but projects can change quickly. Someone who doesn't update the board won't know. Actually, the board updates in real time. As soon as you type it, we'll all see it. I see. That leaves Skype. I know it doesn't work well on some connections. I'm sure all telecommuting employees would agree to get a high-speed connection. Good. I think we can work something out. Wonderful. Thanks, Mr. Tobin. Mrs. Jackson, can I talk to you for a few minutes? Sure, Frank. Come on in. What's going on? Have you seen this article in today's paper, the one about the hacker? Yes, I have. What about it? Well, I think the IT department needs to make some changes. Do you think our company is vulnerable to these types of attacks? Definitely. The overwriting viruses he used could do incredible damage. I see. How much damage are we talking about? Green did millions of dollars worth of damage by destroying files. That could happen to us. Something like that would ruin the company. Exactly. I think these resident viruses and resident extensions are a problem too. Why is that? Well, these types of viruses implant themselves in files and disk drives. Can you get rid of them after that? 
It's possible, but it's not easy. We're talking about long work stoppages and lots of money lost. I see. Look into possible solutions and let me know what you come up with. Lincolnshire Bank, this is Walter. How can I help you? Hi. I think I received a phishing scam. Why don't you tell me a little more about what happened? Well, I got an email that said it was from Lincolnshire Bank, but I don't think it was. Oh. Did it ask you to give away any personal information? Yeah. It said that the bank needed to confirm my account details. Did you email them that information? No, I thought I should call the bank first. It seemed suspicious. Yes, Lincolnshire Bank would never ask for your account details via email. That's what I thought. But the email looked legitimate because it had the bank logo. It even linked to a site that looked official. Well, some of these criminals are pretty sophisticated. OK, so what should I do now? You should call the police. Phishing typically leads to identity theft and fraud. OK, I'll do that. How do I know my money is safe? I'll flag your account so that all activity must be confirmed over the phone by you. All right. Thanks for your help. Hey, Dave. Are you good with computers? Sure. What's the problem? None of my programs have online access. What about your browser? The browser opens, but I can't access any websites. Most importantly, I can't use the email client. That's a big problem. I know. I think I have a virus. Are you sure? The company's new antivirus software is pretty powerful. I know, and we just got the firewall. Oh, the firewall. How high are your settings? As strict as possible. There's your problem. You need to lower the level if you want your programs to work. Why is that? The firewall limits access. At the higher security settings, no information can come in or get out. OK. What's a safe level that allows my programs to work? The moderate level will protect the computer, but still give you access. Franklin and Jones, this is Valerie. How may I help you? Hello. I think I need some security software, but I don't know which kind to get. All right, let's get that figured out for you. What do you think you might need? Well, I almost fell for a farming scam last week, so I'm worried about that. Our web advisor software can help you there. It performs web page analysis for all the websites you visit. OK. Will it protect my computer from viruses too? No, it won't. You'd need Antivirus Plus with Rapid Clean for that. So I have to buy two separate things? Actually, our Defender software combines those two programs into one. Is that expensive then? It actually costs less than buying both separately. And it comes with an added bonus. Really? What's that? Defender includes our computer backup service, so you can't lose your files if your computer crashes. That would be great. I suppose I'd like to order Defender then. Excellent choice, sir. Thank you, and thanks for all your help today, too. Excuse me, Mr Lentz, can I talk to you about something? Sure, Mary. What do you need? I was reading this column on cloud computing. I thought you should know about it. Cloud computing? I've heard of it, but I don't know much about it. Basically, businesses use it to get exactly what they need from the Internet. I'm not sure I get what you mean. How exactly would it help us? Remember when we installed all that software a few years back? The ones that had so many compatibility issues? Yeah, that was a real waste of money. Well, with cloud computing, we can just access the software online. Then we pay for how much we use it. So, it's a pay-as-you-go type of service. What if the software is bad? We can just cancel the service and switch to something better. Deployment is really easy. I like the sound of that. How can we set it up? I'd start with a CDN. It's a set of computers that just store data. Why would we only store data on them? We'd have more available bandwidth that way, and so we'd have also faster access to online software. Hello, Dr Sampson. I got your message about the new electronic systems. Yes, I could use some help understanding them. Well, we just installed a CPOE system and a barcoding system. What's the CPOE system for? It's kind of like an electronic order form. It lets you fill out prescription orders. How exactly do I use it? 
Well, in this box, you type in the patient's name and order, then just click send. Okay, that sounds pretty simple. It is, and the system will notify you when the pharmacist fills the prescription. That's very useful. So, what does the barcoding system do? It tags medicines and matches them to your patients. It reduces medication mix-ups. And how does it work? You just use this optic scanner to record a drug's ID. But how do I match it to my patient? Just scan the patient's ID bracelet. The scanner will match the two numbers and identify the drug. Great! I'm excited to try it out. Mrs. Wilson, thanks for coming in. What can I do for you today? I'd like to improve my business's website. Customers say it doesn't look secure. Hmm. Do you know if you're in PCI compliance? Yes, and we mask customers' information when they enter it. And you have ingress and egress filters. We do. I remember the first designer mentioning that. Well, that's pretty secure then. That's what I thought, but for some reason, customers don't feel that way. I have two suggestions. First, get a trust logo. I've thought about that, but I never knew exactly what to do. It's an easy process, really. You pay an annual fee to a company that verifies your PCI compliance. They allow you to use their seal on your site. Okay, that sounds good. What's the other idea? We redesign it, change the appearance, the whole thing. I just want to make it look secure. And that's what we'll focus on. We'll keep the content, but make sure the page looks professional. It sounds like a lot, but something has to change. Let's do it. Mary, how many applicants did we get for the system administrator's position? Quite a few, but two candidates really stand out. Who are they? A former IT employee and a recent engineering grad. What are the IT employee's qualifications? He is very familiar with managing servers and troubleshooting. He has almost ten years of IT work experience. He sounds pretty qualified. Does he have any weaknesses? Only one. He hasn't worked with Unix at all. Well, that's a major concern. What's the engineering student like? She's had lots of training in configuring computer systems and servers, and she is very familiar with Unix and a few other operating systems. Any concerns about her? Well, she doesn't have as much work experience. That may not be a big issue. Especially since she's so knowledgeable about the other aspects. That's true. She may be easy to train. Okay, we'll interview them both, but I think she'll be the better choice. You're probably right. I'll contact them tomorrow. Hi, John. Have you seen the latest job postings on Freelance Programmer? No, not yet. Is there anything good? There's one asking for a web developer for a realty company. Sounds easy enough. Would I have to create content too? No, the ad said that the client would handle that part. Send me the link when you get the chance. I'll check it out. Sure thing. I've got a couple of potential jobs too. Oh yeah, what are they? There's one client looking to decipher an old programmer's work. He can't tell if it's C or C plus plus. That shouldn't be too hard. You just have to read the code in the editor. He wants to finish the project too, but I'm sure I can do that. What's the other job? The client needs the GUI for a financing program. The pay is back end though. Back end pay? Watch out! You may never get your money. True, but I could use the experience with Visual Basic. Just be careful.